Hi, everybody. My name is Baba Adam, and my company is Universal Love Jewelry, and the website is the letter U, love jewelry dot com. I've been making jewelry for over 50 years now, so at least that should mean that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a joke. Everybody laugh. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, some methods on Y wrapping. And this is uh, my own creation. This is something that I created myself. And I have not seen anyone else wrap wire this way. And what we're going to do first is we're going to wrap um, some stones here. This is um, turquoise stone. And this here is, uh, let me see if I can give it a little close up on turquoise. Yeah, this is a turquoise stone. And uh, this one is uh, what they call a geo, a geo stone. And I'm going to wrap both these stones and make them into a necklace or a pendant. And this, uh, and this here, let me explain what's down here. First of all, this is a copper wire. This is 16 gauge copper wire and soft. Wire comes in three, three degrees, I guess you could say. You have a, a hard, a medium, and a soft. We're gonna work with soft, and whenever you do wire wrapping, it's always good to use soft wire. This is 16 gauge copper soft wire. This here is a round nose pliers with a cutting edge. This cutting edge is, in, whenever you buy a pair of round nose pliers, always try to get a cutting edge because with the cutting edge, you could, um, you know, cut wire, cut the wire. That way you wouldn't need so many tools. So, and this round nose ply here just happened to have been with me since 1975. I think this might have been the second pair of pliers that I bought um, when I first learned how to make jewelry. And this is, um, this is a very good, very good tool. I had it for many, many, many years. Round nose pliers with a cutting edge. This one is a pair of snips you need a pair of snips to cut the wire. Although you could use the, round, the end of the um, pliers here, round those pliers to cut the wire. But just in case you might want something with a little sharper cut, you could get a pair of snips. And this is a flat, flathead plier. And this comes to an end. And I'm going to show you what this is used for when I um, when I wrap the wire. And last but not least is a foul. A foul is always necessary when you're dealing with wire, so it gives you a finished touch. Some people, when they make things out of wire, you see a little rough, sharp edge on it and things of that nature. This is to um, smooth out the edges so you don't have rough edges. So these are the basic four tools that you need. It could be just three tools, and you could eliminate this one if you have a plier with a cutting edge. But we're gonna leave this here just for the record. And um, now you can buy these here pliers at Walmart. Get the file, maybe from a flea market or something like that. You might not even have to buy a new one. And try to get it half round. Yeah, this is a half round foul. I don't know if you can see that good, but it's uh, half round is good. It's the best foul to get. And this here also, you could buy at a flea market or you can get it at a Walmart, or any hardware store, or anything like that. Okay, this wire here, this wire here is actually cut for this stone here. And this wire here is approximately 16 inches long. 
and this wire here it's a longer wire because it's for this um, bigger stone and this wire here is approximately 23 inches long so what we're going to do let's start out with the smaller one the smaller stone and let's see if we could begin to wrap the stone okay now you hold the wire on the back of the stone like this here see flat on the stone like that right now when you hold it you have to find out where you're going to loop the wire so i'm going i see a little edge right here so i'm going to loop this wire on this edge right here on that edge there and then i'm going to bring it around to that edge and i see a little bottom here see the bottom here i'm going to wrap this on this little bottom here and then i'm going to bring it up and wrap it around here and around here now this is what we got we got the stone wrap around here around here and around here and around the bottom right now I'm going to bring this wire and this is how the back looks like that if you can see that yeah okay that's how the back look this is the front looks a little rough but don't judge an artist until he's finished so okay now we're gonna wrap it around here and then we're gonna wrap it see I'm holding this wire down and I'm gonna wrap it around here like this once twice then I'm gonna spin it around here, around, around, around. And see, sometimes I do this a little fast. So this is what we have here. And this particular part here, I could wrap this around as many times as I want, or I could just wrap it around three times. So whatever, whatever time I want. Okay, I just have to, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this around five times. Now, this is what I have here. Now, the stone is not insecure yet because we haven't tightened the stone up, okay? So, we take our flat plier here and your flat plier is what's going to start tightening things up. So I'm going to squeeze this down a little bit and squeeze this down a little bit. Squeeze this down a little bit. Okay, there, that's down. Okay, now all of these wrappings look straight and secure. So we have something like this. Now, there's a little looseness in, it, in here. You see that looseness there, right there? You don't want that looseness. You wanna tighten it up on the stone. So you take this same, this, the same flat plier, you put it right in here and make it even. Now you gotta hold on tight and push the plier all the way in and you twist it. You see that twist right there? That twist brought this wire in and it tightened up the stone, right? Now the, tone, the stone is still a little bit loose, but it's, it's a lot more secure because you don't see the looseness in that wire there anymore. See, it's still secure. So I could just tighten it up a little bit more just for the record. There, let's tighten up a little more. Now, I'm gonna come down to the bottom here. Right here, it looks like it needs a little tightening up too. So, 
I take that and I give that, hold it down flat, and I give that a little twist. Right? And see, there's a twist there. That's two twists. This bottom piece here, it seems to be all right. It's holding everything secure. And the top, I'm pulling it now. It's not coming loose much. Now, what I want to do, that's the front. This is your front. I'm going to bring this here down just a little bit. Bring that wire. Let me see if you see that. I'm going to bring that here. I'm bringing this down. I'll make it so. Let me see if I can put it so you could see it. Okay, right here. I'm going to put this in here and squeeze it down a little bit and make it move down. Now, everything is like in order, so to speak. Can you see that? Looks nice. Now, I'm going to turn, take the stone, I take the pendant, and I'm going to turn the pendant around to the back. Now, I'm going to look at the back. The back looks a little little raggedy here so and it looks a little a little loose here and it's a little loose here right so I do the same thing I'll take the take my pliers stick it stick it in right about right here hold on tight and I'll make my bend again right I don't need much bend on this on this back part because it's already it's already tightened up I look here and I see if there's anything else that needs to be tightened up. I look up, look, look here, and I see I want to tighten up the top here a little bit by squeezing the plier around, so my so that look very, very neat and round. Squeeze it down here a little bit. Okay, now my stone, my stone is secure, independent. Now. On the pendant, on the wire. Thank you. I could take my snips and I could cut my snip off right here at the edge. At the edge, then I could round, foul it off and make it nice and smooth. And then that would be the completion of this bottom part. But I don't want to do that. I want to be a little different. I like to add my own little technique to it. So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to cut this off about right here. Right? Now when I cut that off here, and this here top part looks a little bit long, so I'm going to cut a little piece of this top part here. I'm going to cut a little piece off of that too. Okay? You notice that I put my finger here so the little piece that's left over, I don't want that to fly and hit myself or nobody in the eye, so I put my hand in the back of it and make sure the piece don't fly away. Okay, now we'll take our last tool, which be, would be our file, and we'll smooth out the edges on that one. Then we'll smooth out the edges on this one. Okay, it's nice and smooth. See, I can no 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 rough edges to be cut my finger or cut your finger or get hooked up on any on your clothes or anything like that. It's nice and smooth, right? Now we're gonna take these round those pliers and we're going to take this take the end of this here and I'm going to do like this I'm going to go one two and it's going to look like that you see that you see that okay let me straighten that out a little bit we're going to make that loop right now, after we make that loop, we're going to stick our pliers in the hole of that loop and come around to the back, and we're going to make, make it around, around, come back, around, come back, around. 
and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that round like that. Then we're gonna bend it in here a little bit and down here, right? Now that we have this little piece right in here, it's done. We're gonna bring that down just a little bit. And then the part that we want to make um, run our chain through or leather twine or whatever we want to run through, we have to make this loop here. This is what I call the jeweler's loop. I go one, two. One, two, and it looks like that, All right? Then we bring it back as three. So it's one, two, three. See that, see that loop right there? That's the loop right there that you, you're gonna make to end it with the rope running through the, um, the hole or, or a chain, whichever you, you prefer doing, or you could even put this on a keychain if you want. Okay, and if you want to be real fancy about it, you just you could bang this in here if you want with a hammer on a mallet, or you could even bang the top. So this is your end piece here. That's it. That's the front, and this is the back. And as quiet as it's kept. Now you see there's a little looseness right here. I just noticed that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my flat pliers again and I'm gonna stick it in this hole right here and I'm gonna bend that loop out. Okay, now I got it. Now that I got it, I'm gonna move this here down a little bit. Move this over and that's the Straighten this out, straighten this out, and this is it. That's it, that's the front and the back. Now let's clear this away and let's look at this one real closely. That looks nice. And I did this here 